Everything you do with an expert agent is stored on the events tab and each record within the system has its own events tab. Clicking onto the events tab of the property, you can see everything that we've done for it since the property was added into the system. All the matches, any offers that have been added in, any viewings. When you create a letter and email it out, it creates two events. The first one on this list here is the, the actual act of sending the email. And clicking into that will give you the PDF version of the letter that you created, the one that you saved onto your desktop. Clicking into the Word Letter event will give you the ability to open the document again and this will open up the Word document. So opening up the Word document again, we can make further changes to this document at this point. We can open it up and we can actually add any other information in here that we forgot to add in. Once again, if you've made changes, you always have to file and then save as. So save back onto your local hard drive. And then you can, of course, print out again and pop it in the post or close down Word. And from this screen, re-upload it. And then press save. We are going to re-email it, but we need to save it back onto this event first. So pressing the Save button and then clicking back into the Word Letter event. We can send us email once again, which will, again will create a new email, but this time with a new PDF attachment of the one that we've made the further changes to. So again, selecting the recipient, changing the body of the email if necessary, and pressing Send Email. That will then create two events for emails being sent and the second one will hold the further changes that we made as a PDF document. The original word letter template will always hold the latest updated version of it. If you don't want people to make any further changes to that Word document or to be able to send that particular document out again, clicking into the, uh, into the event one more time, you can mark as complete. Clicking back into it will show you what marking as complete does. It removes the save button. So they can open the document, they can re-upload a new one, but they can't save any of the changes. If they click email, it will, original, it will email the original document and not the updated one or the one that they want to update. So it gives them the ability of opening the document, but they cannot save the changes if they've made any further ones.